Hello, myself Dr. Bhushan Pimple. In this video, we will discuss about the morphology and microscopy of coriander fruits. The coriander fruits are commonly called as dhani or dhania and in English it is well known as cilantro, especially in America. Biological source, it consists of dried fruits of Coriandrum sativum lin of the family APSE. Major chemical constituents are carbon, linalool, limonene and dihydrocarbon. Now these are the phytoconstituents of the volatile oil present in these fruits. It has several medicinal applications such as uh, it is a potent carminative, it expels the gases of the GI tract, acts as a flavoring agent to various culinary dishes, uh, dishes. It is stomachic that increases the GI fluids for secretions for digestions. It is antispasmodic, so um, generally the smooth muscles of GI uh, may exhibit spasm and now uh, these spasm can be treated efficiently by the consumption of coriander fruits. It aids in digestion not only by expelling the gases but also by secreting certain digestive enzymes. Morphology of these fruits, they are light green to light yellow in color. Odor is aromatic and taste is slightly spicier. The size is around 4 to 6 mm in height and 3 to 5 mm in width. They are slightly subspherical or oval in shape. Major special features are usually they have 10 prominent ridges and these are formed due to the um, vascular bundles and there are besides the prominent ridges they also have eight secondary ridges which are not distinct enough now about the microscopy of this fruit uh, the fruit has to be soaked overnight in water so that the tissue becomes soft and then it can be cut transversely in this way so as to get the transverse sections. Now again these fruits are uh, dicot seeds, they have the dicot seeds so there are chances that you may get this kind of two semicircles. A single semicircle is enough for us to understand the inner anatomy or the in anatomical arch architecture of the fruit. Now these are the layers, uh, the layers are quite similar to fennel fruit. Again, these are uh, cremocarpus fruit and here I have shown only a single mericarp. The outermost layer is epicarp. The epicarp is thin and is cuticularized. The second layer, uh, the white colored region, it indicates the mesocarp. And the mesocarp does contains um, three layers the layer which is present at the peripheral region then the second layer which is made up of sclerenchyma that is the stone cell like material and further after the stone cell like material there is one more zone of the same mesocarp the mesocarp they also house the vascular bundles these are the vascular bundles and this is the sclerenchyma zone that is the stone cell region. Besides, they also have vitae. The vita are also located in the mesocarp region. Now, coming to the endocarp, again, very similar to fennel fruits, the endocarpic cells are arranged in a parallel way so they are called as parquetry arrangement of the cells. The cells adjoining to each other are parallel 
and a group of cell is parallel but uh, not necessarily all the cells are parallel only the groups are parallel then comes the seed the seed has testa and typically an endosperm the testa region is not tough enough like other fruits and the endosperm this is the endosperm if you take the section only from the apical region of the fruit there are chances that you may get the embryo within it but most of the time we are uh, taking the section from the center zone because the tissue is quite differentiated and easily understood so in this region uh, i have not shown the um, embryo in the endosperm again raphe are also present these raphe are um, a single smaller bunch of vascular bundle passing through the center and lastly carpophore carpophore is a group of cell or bundle of cell that joins two mericarp to form a cremocarpus fruit now about the staining of the fen uh, coriander fruits uh, we generally make use of two dyes majorly these dyes are incorporated for staining one is sudan red 3 and the other is fluoroglucinol hcl sudan red 3 on staining the ts with sudan red 3 and washing with water the cuticle cuticularized epicarp takes up the red color which can be noticed here plus the vitae those secrete the oil oil volatile oil are also stained red in color so this is the first and important dye and if you stain the same uh, another ts with the uh, fluoroglucinol hcl the lignified xylem and phloem appears to be pinkish in color so you can notice here the vascular bundle plus the raphe they do contain certain lignified xylem in them so even that gets stained pink in color besides you may also use certain dyes if you are uh, short of sodan red 3 one can make use of picric acid even picric acid gives yellow color to the oil glands and aluron grains present in the endosperm in this region picric acid will stain uh, yellow color give yellow color to the aluron grains now this section has been stained with sudan red 3 so the epicarp as you can see in both the images that the epicarp is getting a slight red color tint on it because this red color is oily in nature that means it is being coated with cuticle and cuticle being oily in nature it absorbs the sudan red 3 dye so you can see here the red color appearing towards the periphery about the mesocarp now this is the region wherein you can find two different zones of mesocarp if you look at this region this is one part of the zone of the mesocarp followed by a sclerenchyma layer and again the zone of mesocarp similarly here this is the inner zone of mesocarp and the outer zone and which is divided by a sclerenchyma layer about the vascular bundles the single mericarp of coriander fruit has a single vascular bundle located at the dorsal surface in the ts or we can see at the uh, uh, outside the endosperm uh, sorry uh, testa and within the mesocarp you will find a lignified vascular bundle that can be stained with fluoroglucinol hcl the endocarp of this fruit is quite similar to that of fennel you can see here the cells they are running parallel with each other this parallel uh, appearance of the cell 
is termed as parquetry arrangement now parquetry arrangement means a set of cells they are parallel to each other a group of cell is are parallel to each other but they are not necessarily parallel to another group of cell as you can see here these are the various parquetry arrangements uh, usually seen in the maple floor design or flooring tile floors these are the characteristics of uh, the parquetry arrangement is the characteristic of uh, this umbelliferi fruits or apsc fruits now as far as testa the fruit is also con uh, consisting of a seed enclosed within the testa you can see here the cells top cells are arranged in this way uh, outside this area this is this is called as the testa the vitae vitae are uh, oil glands and coriander has only two vitae compared to fennel which has five here the vitae are located near to the carpophore zone or near the raphe region so this is the single vita uh, which has been stained with flor uh, the sudan red tree the raphe as we have discussed in the earlier slide is the center most vascular bundle now you can see a single zoomed image of raphe lignified with lignified cells in it these are the raphe lastly the innermost region of the seed is the endosperm endosperm is rich with oil globules as you can see on staining with sudan red 3 it gives a pinkish or reddish tint to the oil globules besides there are also alluron grains present here which can be stained with picric acid as we have already stained them similarly in nux vomica seeds so this is all about coriander fruit the morphology and microscopy of coriander fruit